The minute that I turned 35, my skin went completely effing wackadoo. I went down a TikTok rabbit hole. So I want to share the gems that I found because it's literally changed my life. Hi, dermatologist here. This creator is talking about the viral skincare trifecta. I'm not here to invalidate anybody's experience. I just want to share some pearls that we could learn from this specific skincare routine. This is my cleanser. That's my cleanser. Y'all, y'all, yes, that's what you just saw. You just saw a dial hand soap. It's the antibacterial for me though, okay? And and when you see people share this, they will share the gold one because it's fragrance-free, but a little spring water never hurt me, and this all Walmart had. It's cheap, you guys. We like cheap. It doesn't dry me out. I don't have a bump on my ever-loving face. This is antibacterial hand soap. By and large, like there's no need to have antibacterial agents in hand soaps because soap is going to work anyway. The active ingredient here is something called benzalkonium chloride. This was introduced into antibacterial soaps in the last few years. It is something that we also use sometimes in the clinic as a disinfectant. The reason that this is used in antibacterial soaps is that it has broad spectrum antimicrobial activity. The reason to do that is to avoid bacterial resistance to specific antibiotics. So the antibiotic that used to be used in most antibacterial soaps was something called triclosan. However, there's some data coming out now that like using benzalkonium chloride widely is leading to some sort of resistance clusters. So the long and the short of it is it's probably not adding any benefit to hand cleansing and it may result in resistant bacteria and fungi. So it's not a great idea to use it. Not to mention using it on one's face. In general, I don't recommend antibacterial agents like this unless you're using them for a particular indication. And benzalkonium chloride, as far as I know, has no indication for the skin, so you don't know how it could affect your microbiome, and there's no reason to be using it. I understand the budget, though, and there are some great budget facial cleansers out there, so that would be my pick. This right here. This is my baby. This is my baby. This stuff is amazing. It's amazing. This is the Neutrogena Rapid Wrinkle Repair Cream, okay? And let me tell you, it's harsh at first. She burns. Um, so I had to pump the brakes on it, and I was like, whoa, baby girl, chill. And I only did it about three times a week. That's all I could handle at first. You got to push through that. I'm at seven days a week. Doesn't burn anymore. Once you push through that, it's it's the glow for me. I'm, it's, I have, like, baby skin. It's like new skin. This is great for acne. This is great for wrinkles. This is just great. It's amazing. Game changer. The Neutrogena Rapid Wrinkle Repair Cream. This is something I can get behind. The star ingredient here is retinol. Do I even have to get into it? We talk about retinol and retinoids so often on my page. I wouldn't call this an acne treatment, but it is a great cosmetic for people who are looking for some anti-aging properties. Maybe you're first getting into retinol. Creator here talks about needing to kind of introduce it slowly. And for a lot of people, that is true when it comes to retinol and retinoids. In general, a good strategy to starting a retinol product would be to use it a few nights per week and then work up to nightly as tolerated. So yeah, this is some good stuff. This is my moisturizer. And this is, don't even hate, because this is awesome. That's a hand cream that I just showed you guys. Yup, um, Gold Bond Age Defense Hand Cream. Broad Spectrum SPF 20. And let me tell you guys something. Let me let you in on a little secret. I just got it for my period, okay? <laughs> and the flu. Homegirl don't have a bump on her face. This is unheard of in my life. That's unheard of in my life. This doesn't clog your pores if you say it does. I, I don't wanna argue with you, but it doesn't, okay? It's awesome. There's not necessarily anything wrong with like using a hand cream on your face. Like if it works, it works. I'm looking at the ingredients for this one. There's some stuff here that could be helpful. You've got niacinamide, could be helpful with tone evening, can be helpful when it comes to skin barrier function. There's also some ceramides in here. And you have SPF. It's SPF 20. Would like to 
generally see more than that. In general, I go for SPF 30 or greater, and really or greater if you can. So I mean, not a terrible pick, but there are better options out there. It's this trifecta here, guys. This is trifecta. You wanna change your skin? Get your trifecta on, okay? Boom. Okay, so this creator seems to be very happy with this trifecta. But what are some things that we could all take away from this? Number one, sunscreen. Yes, it's SPF 20, but it's still some form of sun protection and that's better than nothing. Two, moisturizing. And third, you know, there's some actives in here. You have retinol and actually a really good retinol product. You have some niacinamide. This isn't terrible. The only thing that I would say that, that like really needs to be tossed out is the antibacterial soap. So yeah, surprisingly not awful.